Hello all, this is John from EastCoastArmory.com and I'm here today with a project update video for this 1-6 scale German SDKFZ 222 armored car. Since the last video update, what I've been working on has been tooling up the model's FLAC 38 gun mount, which is a specific piece for the 222 armored car. We'll be going over the details on this mount in this video. Currently, the mount that you see here, it's still an in-progress build, and I'm still doing research and development on a lot of the components until it, the piece is going to be finished. Currently, in this video here, the gun is approximately 40% complete, with a lot more details uh, which are still in development. The gun mount that you see here will be released as a resin detail kit, and will be posted on the EastCoastArmory.com product line after all the molds and castings are complete. The kit will be for the carriage portion only. The actual weapon itself is the 2 centimeter Flak 38 and will not be included with the kit. The flat gun that you see here is the plastic kit from Dragon. The gun itself is very nicely detailed, and my gun mount is scaled up for use of that Dragon plastic kit gun that we see here fitted to the gun carriage. In a similar fashion to the Maybach HL230 and 210 engines, which I released about a year and a half ago, the mount is going to be a very detailed kit, which will have a lot of its functionality built into the piece. Currently, I have the molds and masters complete for the top carriage that we see here as well as the bottom base. The center chassis carriage is still in master and is still going through some research and development and will be subject to change after this video gets uploaded. Starting with the bottom base, it is a solid resin casting with a separate casting for the the ring that we have here. The ring is suspended via straps and it's held together with fasteners just like it is on the actual gun mount. Here goes a freshly casted unit. It has its taper to it. If I put the straight edge against you'll see the taper that was machined into the to the master. It also has its cone guard also fitted to the casting as one integral unit. The elevation transmission has also been molded. On this unit here we have a separately casted elevation gear and the unit itself is very detailed. Once the unit is all assembled the gear is functional with the elevation gear that's found on the gun carriage itself. Moving our way to the carriage I have here a partially assembled unit just to show the, all the detail that has gone into the masters. Once the frame is assembled, the carriage simply mounts to it via these two straps that we have here. These straps are actually pinned on to the carriage and can pivot outward just like they can on the real gun mount itself. It's all held together with pins just like the real vehicle. This is true for both left and right side. Also what was completed is the very elaborate gun mount chassis that we have here. This portion here is pretty much the heart of the entire gun mount and features lots of functions that we'll be going over. First off the entire, car the entire chassis itself is one complete casting. So it makes assembly of the unit a lot easier in that there's no pieces to glue together. It's just one solid casted unit that's hollow. It has all of its lightning holes present in the casting and no drilling is required. As for the mount itself, the gun, which is the Dragon 2 centimeter flak, which was mentioned earlier, is designed to be fitted to the carriage via a shelf. The purpose of this shelf is that the shelf mounts the gun to the carriage and also recoils 
in the carriage without having to put any stress on the rest of the vehicle. Keep in mind the 222 suspension was not all that rugged and so because of the sheer violentness of the recoil that this gun has the mount had to have been designed to absorb as much of the recoil as possible so very little gets absorbed into the vehicle suspension. The gun mount itself is very similar in concept to the Lafette mount or Lafayette mount which is designed for the MG34 and MG42s in that there is a very large carrier on the inside along with a large buffer spring. You can see the spring from the axis hole that we have here. In addition to the spring there's also a guide rod that keeps everything in place. This model is actually functional in that the recoil is the feature is built into the kit out of the box. As you can see the whole gun itself slides on the chassis of the gun carriage and then bounces back due to spring pressure. The whole unit is held together just like the real vehicle and there's two fasteners that can that mount everything to the center of the chassis so that it functions like the way you see here. Once everything is together and installed permanently the gear meshes very well with the main elevation gear of the mount itself. And as you can see it pivots with the elevation gear when the carriage is elevated. And here goes the gun and mount temporarily mounted inside of the vehicle to get an idea of what it's going to look like once complete. Now once the gun progresses, the interior portion of the turret is going to be a lot more congested than the way you see it now. Also, as of note, the a lot of attention was made to make sure that the gun was at the proper height once fitted inside of this vehicle. And that concludes this project update video for this 1.6 scale German SDKZ222 armored car. If you like this video, stop by and like us on Facebook. And don't forget to check out EastCoastArmory.com for more 1.6 scale tank builds as well as other 1.6 scale detail components. Thank you.